Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to be doing a how-to on how trailer brakes work. I'm from the marine industry. I don't see a lot of electric brakes like this. They're mostly all surge brakes that I work on and at best of times I try not to work on trailers if I don't have to. So electric brakes on like a regular heavy duty utility trailer like this, I don't see that often. So not long ago I didn't know how these things worked so I did a lot of research tried to figure out how they apply how everything works and they're very straightforward so I found a million videos online of guys showing how what was going on and nothing really explained it too simple so I just want to make a video on how to uh, pull this apart we're just going to show you the inner workings how they apply and you'll get the gist of it I don't need it to be very long so let's get to it Obviously we have our wheel off already, and if you're gonna be factoring in on, or doing this job, you're gonna have a cotter pin on here. I've already loosened this off. I had to pull it apart to get some part numbers yesterday, so there's no cotter pin, but you're gonna need to pull out your cotter pin through here, and then your uh, axle nut can come off. So wing that off. Usually a washer there. Got our bearing. Then pull straight off. And that exposes our assembly here. So how do they work? Well, they're like a regular drum system on a car or a truck or whatever that I'm used to working on. But normally on a truck, you have a wheel cylinder right here or on hydraulic brakes of any type and it pushes out on your two brake shoes and that's what applies it. So how does it get applied here? Well, you got your drum, you got this wear surface here and you got this, it's a big electromagnet. There's two wires running from here and that's obviously how they activate through your wiring plug to your trailer. So what happens is this thing here, when it gets magnetized, goes it's a magnet, it goes against the drum to our wear surface. This drum is turning this way on this side of the truck. So when this comes out, it gets stuck to the drum and it goes like this. Watch your shoe here. It gets applied out. If our drum was here, it would put even pressure from here if I hold this and it, it pushes back on this one a bit here too. So that's how you get even braking. That is how trailer brakes work for anybody that doesn't know. That's how they work. They're very, very simple and they're cheap. So what I'm gonna get going on on another video here once I'm done this one, we're gonna get to replacing this. So what happens, these magnets, they wear down. So I got a whole new assembly here. This thing right here. You can see this magnet here is fairly thin. I don't know, it's about as wide as my thumb. This is our new assembly, a new magnet, and it's much, much thicker. So just an FYI for you guys, you can buy a magnet through Dexter Axle, which this is what this is. It's about 75 bucks for this magnet. This whole assembly here, I can get an aftermarket magnet from the auto parts store for about 52 bucks. This whole assembly here guys, it's got four bolts on the back and you gotta do a little bit of wiring. You just put these, you just gotta connect two wires into your harness, which ain't a big deal. It's $56 from the parts store. Why wouldn't you replace the whole thing? Keep this for parts, but you know, springs get weak over time. You don't have to mess around with any springs. So just put the whole assembly on. But anyways, see these four dots here? Those are wear indicators. Apparently once those are wore off, you're supposed to change out that magnet. Ours are way too far gone. And that's why our trailer brakes were starting to get weak. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this stuff. So you can tune into the channel for the next video on that. But this is how to, or just how trailer brakes work. Not for dummies, just for anybody that doesn't know what's going on in there. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I just thought I'd make this video just to show you what's going on inside trailer brakes because you don't know if you haven't took one, taken one apart or you haven't done your research or you can't find a good video on it. You just don't know. Nobody knows everything in the world. I don't. I've been a mechanic for almost 10 years now, and I'm just getting into these. So they're a very simple system, and I just thought I'd help you guys out online. So if you got a tear into your trailer brake job, now you know how they work how you can get an assembly for really cheap and just bolt it in I mean I'm all for old school mechanics and replacing what parts need it and not wasting buying a whole assembly but for $56 how can you go wrong and you know everything's new then it seems that on old drum brakes you'd replace one part and then all of a sudden a spring would break the next year whatever everything's new here now and we're good to go it's four bolts and you're done so and two wiring connectors I'm gonna go up into the harness and see whoever made this trailer they might have a bullet connector up there or it's probably heat shrinked buck connector so we'll just cut it heat shrink it and we're done so thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope this gives you a good explanation on how a trailer brake system works because the first time I pulled one apart just to look at it I'm going man is this magnet supposed to be rubbing over here I don't know is something loose I, I didn't know how they worked now you know, they're really simple. Thanks for watching guys and check out my other videos.